Before today's video begins, if you guys want to support me as a creator, Roblox has now introduced star codes. All you guys got to do is type in my name, Matrix, just before you guys purchase Robux. Thank you so much, everyone. Now let's get into the video. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number three of Drifting Simulator. Thank you guys for all the continued support on the series. I hope you guys are having a fantastic time with it. I just wanted to mention, since I kind of got in a bit of trouble about doing giveaways on a live stream for Robux, I still really want to give back to the community and get you guys on the game. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to be giving away a boatload of Robux, okay? Um, so literally just leave your comment right now with your Roblox username and I don't want to promise anything, but I'm going to be sending out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of copies of this game. So check it out guys, just leave a comment down below, make sure you're in my main group matrix on YouTube make sure you guys are in that group and subscribe leave a like and uh, I will send you guys enough robux to get in to drifting simulator anyways welcome to episode number three everybody as you can see in my inventory a little bit has changed so basically what happened was I just finished a live stream literally an hour ago and we were grinding for about two hours on that live stream and I want to show you guys my new favorite methods to grind and my my little bit of tips and tricks that I've learned to get the most efficient grinding done as well as some of the updates that have happened overnight because believe it or not there has been some updates so um, you can kind of see this is one little bug right here the Dodge Charger is a little too zoomed in as you can tell but it still works perfectly fine as you can see it still spawns and everything is okay um, but I noticed a lot of you guys mentioned that there was a problem with it so thank you for that Otherwise, let's grab one of my new favorite cars, the Nissan 370 Nismo. This car, guys, is honestly awesome, and it's a ton of fun to drive. And I'm going to show you guys my, why I like this car and why I like the Toyota Supra as well. These two cars together are awesome, in my opinion. So let's get started, and let me explain to you guys why I love the 370 and why I love the Supra. So a few things have changed. I also, during the live stream, went and purchased myself the 2x XP Game Pass. I promised all my viewers that I wasn't going to get anything that feels a little bit like uh, accelerating my gameplay. So XP, you know, getting faster levels doesn't really make a big difference. I just wanted to show off the uh, the two times multiplier that sets up right there that actually stacks so if you have the VIP game pass as well you'll be getting 1.4 times XP as well as two times uh, from the other game pass as well so if you have both game passes you're actually gonna get 3.4 times as much XP which is pretty crazy but a few things have changed so one being that instead of getting 5 XP you're getting 4 XP um, instead so from now on you guys won't be able to go onto the grass and grind there that is actually been completely changed um, so that from now on players won't just sit on the grass the, the entire terrain here is not really driftable you guys can see the difference however we actually made the roads a lot more slippery as you guys can probably see just from the gameplay here like it is so much easier to drift on these roads and to be quite honest with you guys I think that this was the perfect update to the game and I really really recommend that you guys try this out because nowadays you can't sit and just grind on the grass do donuts none of that works the best way to get XP now is to actually drift on the roads. And now that the roads are a lot more slippery, as you can see, look how easy it is for me to continue to do drifts. That was kind of a, a bad example, but I mean, you guys are seeing as I'm driving that the roads are a lot easier to drift on. And I just feel like this way, it's just a lot more fluid. And this is how the game was designed to be um, with, of course, all of these fixes in place. So really, really, really happy with how this turned out, guys. Um, as you can see, like, it's just, it's so smooth now it's so smooth and this is 100% my favorite way to drive and my favorite way to gain XP as well um, but I do want to show you guys something cool let's get out of this car and let me spawn the uh, Supra personally I think every single car in our game serves a different purpose what I mean is I believe that the Supra in my own opinion you know this isn't based on statistics or anything this is just based on how I like the way that feels but I would say that the Supra is the easiest car to get good at drifting with and is the most rewarding I mean it's just so fun to slide around with and the other cars are also just as good if not better but the Supra just has this like light feeling to it that you can have full control around every corner as you can see that was just one example of what I mean this car is so fun to drift with and personally the easiest one to drift with as well. So if you want to farm XP on the roads, I think that the Supra is probably your best bet. I mean, 
it's just so good to drive with and it's just so fun but and of course it's only an uncommon so it's super easy to get as well this is just the car that i would recommend anybody get um, but otherwise, I wanted to show you guys the drift track and I wanted to show you guys why I really enjoy it and why it's just so rewarding to drive over there and it's just so fun and interesting. This, this part of the map is just my favorite. I love the drift park and I love the drift track itself. It's just perfect. I think that this area should have all the attention majority of the time and I really want to add more to it to make it feel just that much more fun. You know what I mean? But this area got a huge improvement. As you can see, there's guardrails on the left now and we've got the walls on the right we've got some lighting going on here um, and obviously this huge pond that fills the center so that people can't just drive in circles which you can't even do by the way because nowadays the grass is actually like grass you know it's not as easy as just driving in a circle like it used to be roads are a lot more slippery and grass is obviously not supposed to be slippery so yeah that is um, that is definitely a good fix but this area just feels so much better we've got that tunnel there moving into the next tunnel, which is just up here. And this area is just fun and rewarding. I love the way we can go around these corners. I love the way it feels. And this is what I did for probably about an hour of the live stream, to be completely honest with you. It's, it's so fun. Um, the two times game pass obviously does help. So we get double the XP. So as you'll see here, we have the 200 and oh, almost 300 XP. We'll see when it breaks, but when it breaks, you guys will see the value that you'll get times two. So right now it's 464, right? And as you saw there for a brief second, it showed 900 and whatever the multiplier was. So, but fun fact, we're actually one week exactly since the launch of Drifting Simulator. And you guys can see how much has changed in literally just one week. And it will continue to be that way as we add new things and more stuff to the game, such as codes. We also want to be adding in uh, customization as well, guys. A lot of you guys want customization. I do too. And I definitely think it's going to be one of the biggest points of drifting simulator so i hope you guys are excited about that just try the game i mean if you haven't tried it before you thought it wasn't really fun or wasn't really like it felt kind of clunky just get back in it give it one more try i promise you won't be disappointed i do think that this update completely brought the game to a new level so you guys will let me know about that i don't want to keep kind of rambling about it i just really want to see you guys at least give it another try um, but we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna just try the rest of this drift park here with the Supra I definitely feel like this is like the most fun area of the map I mean as you can see like we can just slide so easily. We don't even need to press the the handbrake We just need to slide like this um, while we're maintaining the drift. We're building a huge multiplier right now actually 900 almost a thousand there's the thousand and can we keep it going maybe? Okay, I want to see where we can go with this actually not gonna lie. This is huge Okay, this is going to be a huge XP drop. Okay, let's just keep going in a couple of donuts here. We'll just keep going, building it up, building it up, building it up, building it up. Okay, let's go. Nice. Dude, we're at 2K. This is what I mean. This is definitely my favorite car to grind with. Oh, oh I just ruined it, but I got 5.5K XP out of that because of the game pass, which is perfect. Your boy's level 11. That's pretty awesome. And we've got 25K. I'm actually going to save up till we get 30K. Uh, so that I can just go ahead and buy two crates to wrap up the video. So I'm gonna try to get a big multiplier I'll let you guys know if it works out and I will see you guys for the crate unboxing at the end. All right, welcome back tricksters We're just about ready to go and open up our two crates I definitely am hoping for a rare but to be honest with you guys, it's not that big a deal I think in the last episode or was it? No, it was episode one. We got the Hellcat um, that has since been reset because there was a huge bug. We had to reset again, but that this should be the last one from now on I don't think there's gonna be any more resets for the next little while at least um, As you can see though since the update's been out people are already over level 100 our number one player is level 103 Which is just crazy Just crazy. But anyways, let's open up our two crates for today and let's see what we're gonna get guys Come on. Come on. Hopefully something new Hopefully no duplicates. I will be able to sell stuff so we can open up a few more. Ah, okay. Uh, E46, no big deal. Let's open up another one here, guys. Oh, we saw an exotic go by. And, ooh, we got a new Hellcat. Nice. This one replaces the one that we lost during the data reset. So that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and just mention Hellcat. GG. Okay, there we go. So that's our new best car. Um, I guess it's as good as the Charger, but it's different. And this is our first rare, so that's awesome. Uh, I think I can sell, I can sell one Supra, 
and then I can sell one BMW and I don't want to sell anything else. I want to try to get the whole entire collection. So let's see. Do you guys have the whole collection? Let me know. I'm very, very curious to see if some of you guys have collected all the cars. I know a few of you have, but let me know in the comments who has collected all of the cars already. Um, for now though, we need what? 1300 more? So that should be pretty easy to get, especially with the Supra. This car is just so fun to drive and the best car in my opinion. Um, but the thing is too, you don't need to drift. Like as you can see, I'm going around these corners and I'm driving and I'm not drifting at all. I, I can just drive straight and enjoy the ride if I want to. But the minute I want to start putting on the handbrake, I can start going pretty crazy and really start to initiate some drifts. Or you can just drive casually, you know, just like this and enjoy the drive and, you know, stop for the stop signs, all sorts of stuff. As you can see, there are working, functioning stoplights. You guys can go and drive legally if you really choose to um but yeah it's it's just awesome dude this game is really coming together and i don't know i recommend you guys to try it out one more time let me know what you guys think the next big update after codes is probably going to be customizing and we're probably going to be seeing a huge huge turnout for something like that i think it's going to be amazing so if you guys are interested in, in the customizing update leave a like and let me know i want to see the hype build for something like that i think it is going to be awesome but Let's go ahead now, open up our last crate, and let's see what we're going to get, boys. Come on. I want to see an exotic go by again, because we did see a Lambo go by. And, oh, no way. Two back-to-back -back Hellcats. That's insane. We got two back-to-back -back Hellcats. Now that we have duplicates, we may as well sell one of them, I guess. That's crazy. Honestly, I'm going to leave it there, because we just finished this video with two back-to-back -back Hellcats. I can't complain. Thank you guys so very much for watching this episode of Drifting Simulator. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And if you guys want to see more of it, you guys know what to do. Leave a like. Let's go for a thousand likes on today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.